excuse me, good afternoon and well, welcome to today's Facebook Live. My name is Jenny McCormack, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you're joining me live, feel free to interact and comment. If you're watching me on replay, catch up or YouTube, then thank you also for joining me. I won't be able to respond to those comments um, directly and interactively, but I will keep an eye on them and answer any questions that you may have in due course. Hi Tracy, thanks for joining me again. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat today. So we are continuing our use of this stamp set, Hooray to You, today features this lovely big birthday balloon and it has some little sentiments and some little flowers to go with it and let me show you what we created yesterday so this was my um, starting sample so just literally a single stamp added the two you this is in magenta madness and then the ones that I did live were these two. So this is using just jade. I added the little ribbon afterwards as I found the jade ribbon. I thought that was quite a nice touch. That was after the live had finished. And I've added these in color enamel dots. And then for this one that I showed yesterday, we used the marker pens on the stamp to create the two different colours. So I've used Midnight Muse along with the Just Jade. And then I stamped these little sentiments and popped them up onto dimensionals. So those were yesterday's ones. Um, what I'm planning to do is do one today using some heat embossing. So the first one I'm planning to do is using a Knight of Navy card which I've cut with our new celebrations dies and this fits perfectly in the center of one of our standard size cards. I've taken some of the papers from um, hmm, artistic impressions or artistic blooms I think is the actual um, name of the paper and I've run this through the embossing folder and it's got these tiny little flowers on which I thought mimicked the flowers on the stamp set. Let me just see who is with us, Scylla and Molly. So this one has a fading colour but I thought it would just brought out that the background of that really nicely so what I'm going to do with this one is do this in silver and what I haven't quite decided is whether I'll do the little words or whether I'll just do happy birthday on its own undecided on that so what I'm going to do is use our happy birthday stamp I'm going to be using our Versamark watermark stamp pad and to start with I'm actually going to use an embossing buddy now sadly we don't sell these anymore most of my customers will already have one um, but basically it just um, avoids any static building up and the stray embossing powder getting stuck to the layer so I'm going to run this all the way over even though the stamped image will only be on obviously a part of it like so and what I'm thinking is that the whole of this image will fit on there okay might have it slightly more um, standing up just to fit it really nicely so I'm going to ink it up with Versamark now if you do have a Versamark ink pad like mine, they do get rather contaminated 
but you can just buy some Versamark refill like this one here comes in a bottle lasts quite a long time I think this might be one of my original ones and you can just refill this at any time it's quite a gloopy mixture that's the my best description of it um, so what you want to do is just add a little bit like so and then let that soak in okay and then go back over it again you don't want to over ink it and you can do the re-inking with all of our um, ink pad colors as well so what I'm going to do is ink this one up now I appreciate you won't be able to see this in detail because it's a clear ink but you can see where you've been because it will be sticky and glossy so I'm just going to hold this up to the light if you can see that or not where it's sticky like so so what I'm going to do is pop that onto here I'm going to turn this round so it's easier for me to hold and I'm just sort of positioning this within the border of the die cut I've got a very annoying fly <laughs> so I'm hoping great big blue bottle I'm hoping that he doesn't land on my work or make too much noise okay so I hope you can see there's the Versamark watermark okay so what I'm going to do now is pop the lid on my ink and add some silver embossing powder just going to grab a piece of spare grid paper just so I can tip the um, embossing powder onto it like so so this is a brand new silver one. I've literally just opened it about five minutes beforehand. I've taken the seal off. Does it ha does have a, a seal on it? And I'm just going to tip it onto the stamped image, like so. Make sure it's nicely covered. Okay, and then I'm just flicking it from the back to get rid of any excess and hopefully you can see that is now a sort of dull grey colour and that's because it's got the silver embossing powder sitting on top of the Versamark okay just going to pour this back into the container and put the lid on so that I don't tip it over And then I'm going to use my heat gun to heat that up. I'm just going to let the heat gun warm up. And I'll heat it on camera. And you'll see that I'm going to start at one end doesn't really matter where you start you'll see the change as that melts I'm just going to work my way around and you want to make sure that all of the powder has melted like so there we go so there is my happy birthday in silver on navy okay so it creates a really nice contrast to that 
So what I'm going to do is layer this up like so and I could add, um, I might well add to you, perhaps stamped in navy um, separately. So let's put these together. So this has got the embossing on, you can see the reverse side of the embossing. So I'm just using my seal to go over the edges like so and it doesn't really matter which way I do this I might have the darker on the left hand side there we go it's really a really pretty embossing folder and I don't use this one very often actually but there's my birthday that's going to go on to the top and I could add a little bit of ribbon so I've got white ribbon to the little white bow or I've got misty moonlight which stands out slightly against the navy blue so I could use either one of those I'm going to pop this on to um, dimensionals before I do that. Okay, let me grab the dimensionals. So I hope everybody is well today and uh, keeping safe. I know Molly's having a really tough week Molly so just know that my thoughts are with you right I'm just going to put these this is quite a large die so I'm putting quite a few on there to support it really over this lovely background let's bend that back a little bit Sorry, that I'm doing this off camera, but because it's not very exciting to watch people peel off dimensionals. <laughs> there we go, last three. Voila. Okay, so I'm going to put my happy birthday central on there. Well, almost central. centered from the top and the bottom and the left and the right like so and let's add a bit of ribbon so I'm not quite sure which color I think maybe this blue would look nice so this is misty moonlight the same as the ink pen I used yesterday and I was using the markers so just making that quite a small little bow to go on there. So that is in keeping with the blue. I think the white would be quite nice, but it's probably a bit too wide. I have got a narrower white somewhere, but I think I'm going to stick with that one. Let's narrow this down a little bit. Trim the edges off. One and two. like so might make this slightly smaller as well so it's just going to sit there across that bottom piece one and two like so okay let's attach that with a glue dot There we go. So I'm just going to push the ribbon onto the glue dot. The, le the least amount of handling of the glue dot, the better. Then it will stick and stay on longer. If you start handling it, then the oil, natural oil on your fingers will make it less 
sticky. Oh, pleasure, Molly. Pleasure. Okay, so I think I might do um, to you there in a little bit of on a little bit of white card. So I have a bit of scrap here, literally out of my scrap bin. Um, and I'm going to stamp it in Knight of Navy, I think. Um, like I had here, but I'm just going to do the 2U, I think. So I do like this balloon much more than I thought I would. Um, because it makes really quick birthday cards. And as I showed you yesterday, you can, you know, do some little tricks and things with it to change colours. You could use two coloured ink pads to get um, a two-tone effect. So stamp half in one colour, half in the other. Lots of things that you could do um, with it. And great for children, but I also think great for any age male or female and I know it's got little flowers on it but in the scheme of things so here's my 2U there we go so I might put that there or maybe here pop it on with some mini dimensionals So just making sure the flat side of those dimensionals are the ones that are parallel to that flat edge like so and then I'm going to use that big stamp from happiest of birthdays for the inside so I'm going to put that there I think like so happy birthday to you and then for the inside I've got this lovely wishing you the happiest of birthdays actually because I've got happy birthday I'm actually going to stick with this one that I did yesterday change my mind it's your day enjoy it yesterday I did it with the pen so that you could omit the word enjoy it let me show you that one here it's your day so you could do that but today I'm just going to do the whole sentiment let's grab that so let's pop this frame out of the way I'm going to ink up it's your day enjoy it just a light touch move everything out of the way so I've got space to stamp that's the, the key thing okay double check I've got it the right way around and I haven't turned it without realizing there we go it's your day enjoy it and there's the happy birthday now with these embossing powders they do have a shelf life of approximately 12 to 24 months after they have been opened and I just want to show you how you know when you need to replace your powder because I tried one earlier on in preparation for this afternoon and I don't know if you can see how patchy this one looks and it's quite dull in comparison if it, especially if you look at the happy birthday this is really nice and solid this one is quite patchy and that's because this has been open for <laughs> goodness knows how many years 
and it's been contaminated by being in a large box so I normally keep them in like um, a takeaway box or a little plastic container and the problem is that over time the air will um, just basically leave this less shiny the best way I can describe it so I don't know if you can see it's not startlingly obvious but if you're finding when you're embossing that it's going dull there's a good chance you just need to replenish your you can see if I um, turn that in the light now the difference between the two okay and it, as luck would have it I had a brand new silver one um, ready to open and in fact I'm pretty sure this happened before so I replenished all of my embossing powders um, for that reason um, you can also have a problem if you overheat something because you can sort of melt it and then melt it again back into the cardstock and you will get a very dull but all over effect okay so if you are having trouble heat embossing just check you're not overheating it or that your um, embossing powder hasn't been open for too long so what I will do on the bottom of here or around the edge is I'll put a label on to say when I opened it okay if they're sealed then that's absolutely fine the shelf life only begins really when you open and activate it with the um, with the air okay um, so let's do uh, some different colorways to that one okay so I thought it'd be fun to do something nice and bright <laughs> and so from the same series of paper is this one here with the white dots and then it's got the stripes on the other side I haven't embossed this one because it's got a, lo a lot of detail on it already so what I thought I would do is this in rich raspberry, but using the raspberry card, but using the white embossing powder to pick up the white on here. So other than that, everything will be the same. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. So if you join me since I've started, this is how I did my first card. So embossing buddy all the way over basically just don't handle your card too much this I don't need to clean because I've got Versamark on it but let me go and grab the white embossing powder the wrong one here we go so this is how I keep mine um, when they're in use a lot and as you can see a I've only got a little bit in there so there's a lot of air and also there's a bit of contamination there's bits of um, um, dimensional backings and there's the odd you know tiny little bit of whatever in there and all of that will um, mean you get less of a clean clear embossing result I'm just looking to see actually so I have another one here and I want you to just look at the difference in colour between the two okay so this is really yellow on the right hand side and this is whiter so I'm thinking this is probably an older one I could be completely wrong so I'm going to use this one here fingers crossed but I do need to replace my white one as well so exactly the same technique, I'm just going to turn this on its side. So um, 
thanks for sticking with me those are still here so just inking that up I say this is a Versamark if your Versamark is looking like mine it starts off really um, I'll say clear but it's a sort of off off white colour to start with then consider buying a um, a refill for it so I'm going to do exactly the same thing on here and I might put my um, to you on here as well and emboss it all together okay this will stay quite um, sticky for a while so I don't have to worry about putting the powder on you know like straight away let's just add this one here on the right hand side hopefully I haven't overdone that oh not very straight so I might need to cover that up after all okay so for this one just going to lift this up tip the powder over it you can see obviously where it's it's sticking where the ink is do this bottom bit with the string and everything and you can see how the majority of powder has not stuck to that okay I'm just going to flick it over give it a bit more of a tap I'm going to tuck this away everybody's very quiet today are you all have I made you all fall asleep I wonder okay let's get the heat gun on this one So just letting that heat up. That's looking nice. And I'm just going to look at this to make sure it's all heat embossed, which it has. I haven't got any dark spots on there at all. Okay, so that really makes that stand out, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to sort this to you out because that's too angled for my liking. So I could do, um, I have a scrap that came from the edge of here. So this you could actually use as a frame in its own right on a piece of card. So because I cut out two, in case I messed it up, I'm going to use this piece and I can keep this as a layer for a card. So I'm just going to do the two you again on here and then I can cut it out. And then it won't matter whether it's straight or not. we go grab my embossing as I say this must be the newer one because it's more white the other one was definitely more cream yellow okay and I didn't use the embossing body so there's some stray powder on there but as I'm going to cut it down, I'm not too bothered. 
the only thing to watch is not to burn your fingers when you've got a small piece and don't do this on your best French polished furniture either So I'm just going to cut round that and then replace it on the top of the other one. I have got some very small dies that I could cut that out with. But I'm going for the hand hand cut version today. Like so. So this is going to go on top like that to straighten it up. There's always a way to get around those sorts of issues. Just going to use the, the edge piece of these dimensionals to put behind it like so. So I wonder what everybody else is up to this evening, this afternoon. The week is certainly going past again. <laughs> Here we go. So just straighten that up. Like so. I think it's straight. Began to question it myself then. Okay, so here is our Whisper White card. This is going to be our layer, just a very narrow gap around it because I want to um, see, you know, some of the paper that I've used. So I could use the back of that as well and change it. But let's just pop some seal on here, like that. Just the middle, and I'm going, sort of, you know, quite close to the edges there, so that it's got a nice coverage. Pop this on here. Like so. And then this is going to go on top. I will add some dimensionals. Like so. Voila. going to pop onto there. I've got an odd bit here once we use it up. Well, there we go. Now I'm planning my um, Facebook lives for the next week. So if there's a particular stamp set you'd like me to use that I have, <laughs> then please do message me maybe you've bought it and you don't know what to do with it or you're stuck for ideas if you have a particular stamping technique you'd like me to cover i can also do that so let me just grab i think a little bit of white ribbon would look nice on there open one so this is whisper white cotton ribbon so I'm thinking just to do a little 
bow like so bunny ear method just folding it over like that and then if you just gently sort of pull it together you can twizzle it as you want make this one quite small again just so I've got that white sort of in three places like that snip that off and that one there we go and that's going to sit on there and again a glue dot position work out which is the, the nicest side that you like the look of and position the back on the glue dot like that pop it up pop it on there we go and I'll just stamp the inside of that let me put my lid on that so I don't tip it over except it's gone AWOL and I'm going to do the It's Your Day but I will do this in a rich raspberry to go on the inside let me just wipe that down with my chamois let me grab rich raspberry and we're done And I've got actually got a new rich raspberry to open here, so I might as well have a new one. I do have two sets of all of the inks, um, mainly for when I run in person classes, and this is one that I replaced recently because I had um, I did have two, but one was the old style. Just bringing in a little bit of scrap paper. Ink this up. And this is a good way to see how inky that new ink pad is, is to try it first. Look at that, nice and crisp. Perfect. Like so. There we go. It's your day. Enjoy it without putting it in the ink pad. Happy birthday. There we are. So some straightforward heat embossing. Nothing particularly technical. Um, a few hints and tips there on your embossing powder. Though if you're not getting the results that you want, just check your embossing powder. As I say, what I will do on the one I just opened is put a little sticker on with the date or I'll write on the um, the lid the date that I opened it up and then I know that which is the most recent really so I hope you like the two that I've done today this is white embossing this is the silver as you can see nice and shiny uh, we do have other colors so we have gold um, so you can look those up in our catalogue if you can look in the index at the back if ever you're struggling to find something right at the back of our catalogue literally on the last but one page is an accessories index so if you're looking for embossing powder this will tell you it's on page 184 to 185 if you're looking for a particular stamp set you can use our stamp set index okay and that will tell you the price the number and the page number it is on so let's just go to one eight four and no we've got what page it was now embossing powders one eight four to one eight five oh embarrassing is that it's got the wrong page number on it oh dear so I'll have to report that as an error 
I wonder if it was that in the old catalogue. If I look up, let me look up heat tool in that case. Heat tool is 146. There we go. So I'll let them know that that is incorrect. So we have white, clear, gold and silver embossing powders in our main catalogue. Now I can show you a way to actually um, make any colour ink shiny as if it's embossing powder. So if you'd like to see that, just comment and I can show you that tomorrow. So you can have blue embossing or green embossing. So if you'd like to see that, um, just let me know and I can incorporate that. Okay, thank you so much everybody. I appreciate you joining me this afternoon. Sorry I've gone on a bit longer. Um, I am trying to stick to 30 minutes of an afternoon. Our next session will be tomorrow at 10am. And I am considering running my Thursday and Friday sessions um, and Tuesday sessions all at 5pm. Um, so that I'm not dotting around so if I do that I will let you know but for the moment tomorrow Wednesday 10 a.m. UK time you can find me here thank you so much everybody I appreciate you joining me I hope you enjoy your afternoon and evening please stay safe and look after each other <laughs>